Don't you think it's time to let them inside, let them inside. Jesus is the light. That's how I feel when I come here. <laughs> Go walk out that door and come back in. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is nice. You can see a lot. Look at this. I'm so, I'm so glad you're looking at the light instead of the parking lot down below. Oh, I can't see it. What do, I, you, what do you sing to your baby? When you I sing this baby? song. I sing this song, God put a rainbow in the sky. So I've been singing it to her since she was in my belly. Mm. You want me to sing it? A little bit, yeah. Okay. God put a rainbow in the sky. God put a rainbow in the sky. When it looks like the sun will not shine anymore. God Put a rainbow in the sky. I sing that to her. It just calm her down. Until she want me to pick her up. But it comes, it comes her down. <laughs> oh, well, God put an angel in the fish studio. Yes. What a gift. It just flows right out of you. Thank you. You got the Holy Ghost just floating Thank all over you. the place. What is, uh, what's God saying to you in this moment now as, you're, as you've had your baby? Yes. And now oh your my music goodness. is um, continues to flow in lots of different directions. What's God speaking to you about? God has recently shown me through marriage mostly that He is in control, and a lot of times we want to be in control of the outcome of every situation in our life. We want to control everything, and the amazing thing about God is that even when we make mistakes he will use those mistakes and use them for the good in our lives and I was just like I quoted at uh, at dinner Romans eight twenty eight is a scripture that has just been replaying and replaying in my mind for we know that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose so if you are called according to God's purpose you have to know that whatever you're going through in your life God is going to make it work for your good. Literally everything. And a lot of people will say, well, what about a death in the family? You know, I lost my father at the age of eight, you know, and a lot of people then when I tell them I lost my father, they say, oh, I'm so sorry. But then I say, no, that's all right. Because when my father was alive, he, he may have been strung out on drugs really, really, really bad. But my father, when we did see him, he was preaching, he was telling, he was teaching his children about the word of God. And so when my heavenly father let go of my hand, metaphorically speaking, my, when my earthly father let go of my hand, my heavenly father took me under his wings. Mm -hmm. And that was such a beautiful moment for me because my father transitioned into into heaven and i just could feel the holy spirit just take control of my life and so now i'm this young woman like i like you said i just had a baby just got well i just got married just had a baby and i've been able to just see god's hand and his fingerprints in my life everywhere and it's just amazing it's just amazing being a child of god especially in 2022 you just get to Oh my goodness. You get to tell people about God, people who don't know God or people who have may may have rejected him for whatever reason. You get to hear their story, but when they hear your story and not just hear your story but see how much you love God, it's just it's just different. And you have a lot of different areas and avenues now than you did when you were little yes. to share. Because I know on your Instagram, you share the truth I of do. all of the things I that do. have happened <laughs> with you and your husband, being pregnant, yes. having a baby. Yes. I mean, you got to follow her, Evie McKinney, and you added your last name after Yes, you. Evie, okay. Evie McKinney Evie. Anderson. And I, I love my husband. I love being a wife. I love being a mom. And you know, before I got married and became a mother, God, as as a single female, God had me minister to myself and to my family through music as well. But now that I'm married and a mother, 
it's like God has opened my eyes and he's completely just shifted my perspective even more to him. Because when you marry, you definitely need Jesus. And when you a mother, you <laughs> definitely need Jesus. I don't see how people make it without him. Let me tell you, because I most definitely, I don't know. I tell my husband all the time, I don't know what you're thinking. And then he tell me, well, I don't know what you're thinking. But it's, it's a blessing to have God in your life. Because when you venture off to get married and become a mom, he never leave you. Like he said, I will never leave you or forsake you. Amen, Evie. Evie, what would... What would be something we'd be surprised to know about you? You're, you're very great at sharing so much, so boldly, so beautifully. What would, what would be something that we would be like, wow, really? Oh, my God. I love, I love doing stuff like skydiving. And, you, whoa, um, whoa. You, you I like did. to skydive? <laughs> That's a surprise. I love doing just stuff that a lot of people don't want to do initially. And so does my husband. Uh, I also love to game. Me and my husband are big, big, big gamers. What's like, your game? We love, okay, so when you're talking about family games, we love Monopoly, Uno, Phase 10. Um, but we just recently got the Oculus, like the virtual reality game. Wow. And so this is so crazy because we spent so much money on games. <laughs> but my favorite game is paintball and it's free. So <laughs> we love, we just, we some big gamers. <laughs> Share a story about <laughs> skydiving. Okay. So before I married my husband, um, it was my 23rd birthday and he surprised me with um skydiving and he knew that I wanted to do it but you know when you first meet somebody you tell them oh I want to skydive and you know it's the it's the honeymoon phase a lot of people like to call it but he was he took it to heart and he really did take me to Orlando Florida and we jumped out of a plane at 14,000 feet and I was so scared on the way up and I was so anxious and I kept thinking about Philippians, <laughs> the scripture, be anxious for nothing. But I'm like, I'm finna jump out of a plane, Lord. And I'm praying, Lord, let the parachute come out, Lord. Let us be, let us land safely, Lord. Let nothing not happen. But I loved it. I absolutely loved it because that was a, that was a, there was something, it was an adventure that I took on myself. But even then, before I jumped out of the plane, with all the praying and stuff, God is in control. Even in situations like, okay, Lord, I want to do some crazy, Lord. I know you love me, and I know, you know, skydiving ain't nowhere in the Bible, but you say you will never leave me or forsake me. So I jumped out of a plane, and it was amazing, and it just showed me. Like, I could see the whole city, and it just changed. You know, us Christians, we think about stuff real deep on every level, so it just showed me like, God, you are, you are a creator. Mm. You are a painter. Mm. You are just amazing. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he gave you a whole new view. Gave and, me a whole new view. And you're going to remember that when your daughter yes. says, mom, I am wanting to skydive. Right. I don't know now. <laughs> I'm going to be like, okay, you need to be praying your whole way through. <laughs> <laughs> what is your hope for your daughter? What is your hope for her generation, for the kids that she's going to end up ruling the world with? I hope they search and seek God for themselves and not listen to the world mm. and what the world is telling them because it seems like the older we get, the worse the enemy gets and the the louder he gets. And we have to be loud about Jesus. Like this is not the time to be quiet about Jesus. This is not the time to be quiet because you're going to offend somebody. We have to know that the truth offends people and that's okay. That's okay. But when you're following Christ, you just have to do your part by loving people, sharing the gospel with them and just praying for them. When you leave these people, we have to do a better job at, praying for them and so I hope that when Isabella gets older that she say mama all that praying paid off and I saw my mama get down on her knees every morning physically I would watch my mama no matter how late I was 
getting to school that was something that she was very adamant about she did it it was routine for her she prayed every single morning and so now for me I want to do that you know I I do that you know and it's something else that I do I, I read devotions every day and I write I write in my devotions I annotate them and it's uh, hopefully whenever Bella gets older I can give it to her so she can say well when I was a baby this is what my mama was doing you know because it's important for children to not just hear the word but to see their parents doing the word you know, so I hope that when she gets older, she's saying, okay, my mama taught me about Jesus, but now I know him. Yeah. They remember everything. 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 If you check out Evie McKinney Anderson on Instagram, she's got a special story for Isabella. Yes. And you just want to eat her so yes. badly. She's Ain't just, she cute? Just, oh, oh. <laughs> With those big old fat cheeks. Oh, yes, I kiss yes, her yes. all day, 24-7. <laughs> oh, so, so great. Your music is a really vital and important way for us to hang on to that truth that we need today Amen. as much as we need for the future for your daughter and, Amen. and for all of our kids. So. Thank you for your music. Thank you. If you could describe your mission with your music, what would the mission of your music in your heart and your soul be as we as we let Evie's words come into our heart, and yes. which are really God's words? I just want to be the vessel for God. I want to do whatever he tell me to do because I'm too, I'm not perfect. I'm 25. I'm married. I'm, I have a family of my own. So I don't, I don't have it all together. However, I just want to do whatever God want me to do. Whatever he say, if he say, Evie, go left, I want to go left. And I don't want to question it. And I'm learning through marriage and through motherhood how to fully put my trust in God. Because right now, Bella's not with me. My husband is not with me. But I trust that God is keeping them safe through prayer. You know, and I hope that my my music inspires people to pray more. Because without prayer, with without prayer, you know, there is no evidence of your relationship with God. You know, you can talk, you can go to church all you want to. You can look like a Christian. You can give to the homeless. You can do all the nice things. You can be a good person. But if you don't have an active membership at Jim Jesus, it, it's not really much that you can do. You see what I'm saying? You like what I did Hashtag there, Jim, Jim Jesus. Jesus. If you, and, and see, this is the thing. We all have a membership. But a lot of us don't go to the gym if you catch my drift. A lot of us don't go. A lot of us say, well, no, I don't. I'm going to go tomorrow. And then you don't go tomorrow. But see, and that's how we do God. Mm -hmm. But through my music, I pray. I pray all the time, especially for young people, that they just listen. Just stop. Listen. Give God a chance. If you find yourself in an unwanted position uh, an unplanned pregnancy, if you find yourself in these really difficult positions, trust God. Even if, because I really believe that God allows things to happen so that he can show up in our lives. And when we let him show up and when we don't block him from showing up, when we let him just show up and be God, change, amazing things can happen changes happen and I think we're scared of change because it's something that we've never went through but like I said Romans 8 28 but we know that all things work together for the good so even that change God will use that and it'll be the most beautiful change you've ever went through mm. in your life mm. Mm. how blessed are we that God has been showing up big time for yes you. yeah in Jesus name amen Thank you for your music. Yes, thank you. Thank you for playing it. Thank you. Because y'all are important. Mm. Y'all are, if not the, the most important people in music. Because without y'all, people would not hear. Y'all, there are pastors who get up and preach sermons every Sunday, of course. And, you know, mothers who try to be examples to their children. But if it were not for y'all, people wouldn't, some people wouldn't even know about Jesus. So I thank y'all mm. for playing our music. People like me who really do love Jesus, I really do appreciate y'all. 
Absolutely. Well, we love you. High five. Thank you. High five. All right. Let's go to Jim Jesus. Jim Jesus. Let's go. (laughs) Eddie McKinney in the Fish Studios. Yes. What an honor. Yes, ma'am. What a privilege. Thank you. Thank you. You want to sing us out? What do you want me to sing? Hmm, What do you want to sing? Oh, my goodness. Um, I'll sing a little bit of church. Okay. When the world gets heavy. Starts to weigh me down When I get a little lost in I gotta go get found Ain't nothing like a Sunday morning for my soul Ain't nowhere else I wanna go Take me to church Singing hallelujah Telling my feels goodbye My worry falls down when my gun gets lifted high Everything I ever needed I can only find in Jesus I have seen it, I believe it So take me to, take me to church Take me to, take me to church I ain't sung all day. <laughs> yes, you have. The Evie yeah. McKinney in the Fish Studio. We just got a little mini concert yes. with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.